So today we're in Singleton Hospital in, um, in Swansea and we've got a guest speaker, Helen Owen, who's come from Gloucestershire. She was the Arts Development Officer in Gloucestershire when the Artlift project began, um, which is a very successful arts on prescription project. So it's, a, yeah, it's people from the local council, the health board and artists all interested in taking these ideas forwards. This afternoon, um, Prue asked me to come along and share um, our experience of Artlift in Gloucestershire, about how we set Artlift up, where the money came from, the challenges we faced really, and the benefits which people got from it, and indeed how, how we knew about those benefits, in other words, how we evaluated the impact of Artlift. It's brilliant for getting people together and having that support for, you know, because we're working across South Wales, we're not necessarily working within the same health boards or within the same location, but we've got similar interests. So groups like this just help um, link up that network. So we're supporting each other in, in setting things up and learning. Sometimes working as an artist can be quite isolating. So it's just bringing all that together and, and feeling like we're, we're doing something together. set out to explore in the learning group was how we could construct a network, a sustainable network in Wales, where emerging artists could refer to established artists uh, through to be mentored, if you like. Um, but it changed a bit. And the way we changed it was to create an informal structure, to create a space with communities where we can come and just share food and start conversations without any agenda, and these were called, um, uh, in Welsh it's Gleir Lleir Llawn, which means full moon feast. And you meet people you might not otherwise meet, and you go to places you might not otherwise go. This mentoring, uh, this co-inspiring, has brought people together to create some amazing projects already. And the good thing about this is that we all know when it's going to happen. We don't know where, it, where it's going to happen, but everybody knows every full moon happens and it has that consistency and that's one of the aspects as well that it creates this cyclical meeting so that you can meet people you met last month and see how things have advanced for them and so it becomes this natural organic peer-to-peer -peer mentoring which isn't forced and we were supported to get creative around it and, and I felt artwork supported us to be really innovative and take this risk and it's really paid off. Our Artworks Learning Group set out to explore a few different things. In one way it was literally about the more experienced and the less experienced practitioners within the network sharing their skills and expertise with each other and learning from one another about all of what we do. And then there were also some specific themes that we set about exploring. So we set about exploring working with hard to reach and challenging groups of young people. We've set about exploring working inclusively and working in rural settings. We have been running uh, workshops about working inclusively. So rather than seeing um, access as a boring thing and something that we need, we need to deal with, that more that it's something that can really enhance everybody's experience and it's a really exciting creative tool that we can use. We were all creatives in the room today. We're all doing quite a lot of this already, a lot of this inclusion. So what's lovely is that by doing this workshop, all of us together, we're recognising the things that we're doing that are really good and really inclusive. But then also going, if I just did a little bit more of that, or I just thought about this, then I'm making this accessible to a whole wider group of people. The value is just having time and space to come together, to see each other, to actually genuinely talk about what it is that we do. But we've also been able to share resources and share ideas and collaborate on future projects. So today we're at the Oriel Davis uh, Art Gallery, which is where we meet bi-monthly. And uh, we've been busy trying to sort out our performance. Well, the idea of the learning group is to break down barriers between disabled and non-disabled people and isolation and to be creative um, in whatever way to try and get the means, whether it's sculpture, whether it's painting, performance, film, 
and to be able to support each other really. So it, the idea was it would promote social inclusion um, for disabled people because we do actually want to involve non-disabled people as well and um, break down barriers between the two. It could be it could be mental illness, it could be an obvious disability, but we're trying to form it to everybody can come in and, and get creative. And the idea is that we're going to build on it um, so we'll have more members and continue to produce our own artwork and group, group work together, which we can then take out round and about and show other people. I wanted to um, get this learning group together to basically find out who else is out there in Wales who's also working with the arts and criminal justice settings. So theatre makers, storytellers, uh, visual artists, writers, those contexts can be quite um, difficult to navigate in as an artist. You know, you can get things wrong quite easily. So just to be able to share our experiences was also something uh, that was of value. Uh, and also we uh, had one group meeting actually with prisoners in um, Park Prison uh, to get their perspective as well, like what's, what's the point of the arts in prison and uh, you know what would it mean for them uh, if there was uh, some kind of network or some kind of organisation that could act as a bridge, a kind of through the gate um, uh, project whereby anybody who discovered the arts in prison or, or rekindled some passion for the arts in prison on their release could find a point of contact, find um, an organisation to become part of. Also knowing that there were other learning groups going on in different areas at the same time and that we were all going to come together uh, you know, 18 months down the line and be able to share what we discovered along the, the way. I think that just having that framework which was quite sort of loose but gave a context I think was quite important.